99 FM, your inspiration station. That was Harry Styles with Watermelon Sugar. It is time now to warm up on the warm-up session on The Kingdom. And we have a very, very special guest in the building today. Uh, footballers, young footballers, football fans, football coaches, football enthusiasts around the country. There is an initiative going around, there's a league going around that is going to inspire the future, that is here to really produce the next crop of AFCON players, the crop of players that, that will hopefully also, you know, take the Namibian football um, as it is now and take it to the next level. And they're all playing in this league called the MTC Hopsol League. Um, and we have the absolute pleasure of speaking to Strauss or Mr. Makoya, who's in the building today. Uh, welcome. Welcome to the kingdom. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Script. It's, it's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's been a long time, man. And you guys have definitely been been busy cooking up some 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 very, very important things in the country. Yeah. Um, MTC Hopsol Youth Soccer League. T just tell us about how the concept for this league was born. Well, I th it was born between Colin Benjamin and um, I think the owner of Hopsall. Mm -hmm. I think this has been five years ago. Mm. And I only came on board uh, two, three years ago. Okay. Where basically we had, um, they took all of the kids which are basically interested in playing soccer mm -hmm. from schools and also from football academies mm. around the commerce region. Mm. And um, since then it has been growing bigger and bigger and better. Mm. I think it has over 1,600 players uh, registered, mm -hmm. over um, 70 teams playing mm -hmm. from under nine age groups till under 19. So it's mm. amazing what uh, these guys have been able to accomplish mm. in such a short period of time in a well-run uh, football league, mm. if, if I might say. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, it's especially in a time where football is quite controversial. To see exactly to see something <laughs> to see some stability is a very yeah. is a very nice thing to see, man. Yeah. Why, why do you think, Mr. Makoya, in your opinion, is why is it so important for, for the young Namibian soccer players to have such a, a league running? You know, um, to have a setup of this magnitude, a professional setup, if I might say, mm -hmm. uh, of this magnitude already teaches the young footballer as to what can become of them once they turn professional. Mm. Or if they would have to think about this can be my 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 day-to-day -day job you mm, know and mm. um if you if you are in the setup like this it changes your mindset mm. you know changes your mindset as to so these are how things are being done mm. from your academy to where you're playing in the league mm. and on top of that we just um, spiced it up to have it now on tv mm. which which makes it uh, something so amazing because i believe perhaps if i'm speaking under correction mm -hmm. we are perhaps maybe the first country to have a youth league soccer TV show mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which showcases this young uh, kids' talent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I, in, uh, we briefly spoke about it off-air. Um, I, I, I have, I have a, a, a young, young relative that's, that's playing in the league as well and he, I obviously, because, you know, One Africa, we have such a good relationship with 99, yeah. I knew that it was coming. I had forgotten that he was even playing soccer <laughs> still because the football has been in, in such turmoil for so long. We yeah. for, it's easy even for fans to forget yes. and, and leave the youth players out in the dust. And then he, he was calling me the other day. He's like, I'm on TV, I'm on TV. <laughs> I'm just like you, I'm on TV. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and it's, it's very good. It, it, it really breathes life back into into the kids and to the to the footballers you know it's a, it's an amazing feeling you know um if you, you won't believe when these boys are playing on a friday or saturday mm. early in the morning they are all up in there they are enthusiastic energized mm. and they want to get playing you know for us growing up we didn't have those uh, uh, opportunities to yeah. see yourself on TV. Yeah. You know, you just see the bigger clubs on TV or yeah. the real European leagues. Yeah. But now we're talking about these young athletes, we mm. can call them young athletes, mm. have that opportunity to actually, like, you have to watch One Africa at 6.30 because mm. the camera was there and I scored an awesome goal. Yeah. And that goal was almost like Ronaldo's yeah. goal, which we watched on Saturday. Yeah. So we're giving them this platform to actually harness also their, their talents, mm. you know. So I, I think it's 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 something worth worth looking at because parents also sometimes get to miss their kids' games. Yeah. You know, 
parents sometimes are at work because mm-hmm. these guys play also during the day. Yeah. And uh, they don't get that opportunity to go see your son or your daughter play. Mm-hmm. Now you can actually sit at home mm-hmm. and watch your kid play on TV. Yeah. I mean, what an amazing feeling that is. Definitely, definitely. Now, apart from, from soccer, what are the other areas of development that you're looking at um, in terms of nurturing the league? Are there, is it everything on the pitch or are there things off the pitch that are, that you also look to expand on? There's a lot of things going also off the pitch, mm-hmm. uh, but we might, we, we might also have to say that um, this is in a way also to, also to showcase each and every individual's talent on TV. Mm-hmm. Because now you get um, soccer coaches mm. which are not able to attend every single game within the commerce region or on a national structure mm. to be able to see okay this is a player that i will need for the soccer, national team structures mm. and on top of that we have also young coaches mm. you know putting their time in with these boys mm. and they are really doing a good job but do you get to see them on a week-to-week basis no because everybody's busy yeah now we're making it so much easy to showcase what these people are doing on and off the pitch mm-hmm. you know how far their teams have come mm. and how good they are performing on the league mm. So you actually in the comfort of your home scouting a player or scouting the next soccer coach for your youth academies mm-hmm. also. Mm-hmm. So in terms of promoting coaches, we're promoting players, mm-hmm. and we're promoting the whole league mm-hmm. on its own. Mm-hmm. So I mean, uh, this is where you'll be able to see, okay, this is where the next Dion Hotter is coming. Yeah. You know, yeah. the next Peter Shalurile. Yeah. Because we only get to know about these players when they... Are starting to play outside okay, of Namibia, yeah. mm. but if you can actually now start um, noticing this, these players from mm. under 15, mm. I'm like, I, I know that guy. Mm. He was playing for AC mm-hmm. FA. You know, he was mm-hmm. playing for S- Swallows from mm-hmm. Karatura, mm. and just look how far he's come. Now he's playing in the South African Premier League, yeah. or maybe he's become now the next Ryan Yambe. Yeah, because we didn't know about these players. While they were locally here, <laughs> yeah, you know, true. so there was no light shine upon them. Yeah. So this is what we are trying to do, trying to make things easier because now you literally just go onto YouTube and say, I played this game when, 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 when. And if there's a coach outside willing to check out my stats mm-hmm. or how I play, mm-hmm. go on YouTube, search me and content boom, is there. content is there. Something which we never used to have. Yeah especially for young uh, young soccer players mm-hmm. like this. Now, uh, you, it's the Commerce region um, right now. Are we looking at countrywide very soon? Are we looking at, uh, you know, men's... Prob- trans- or trans- rather, moving the, the, the football as well, not just from academy level to yeah. professional levels? And are we looking at MTC Hopsall... You know, on on a larger scale, what's the five-year, ten-year plan? Well, the the expansion is definitely there. Mm -hmm. Um, Most of the teams, especially when you come to the under-19 structure, Mm. that is when it stops actually for you to participate within the youth level. Mm. So once you you graduate, once that team graduates, they can also start participating in the second division, Mm. you know. Mm. This is where they can compete now against the bigger and bigger teams in the country. Yeah. So... Definitely that is there and also I think on a yearly basis we take most of the strongest players to also compete with other players around the country Mm. to just expose them a little bit and sometimes they also get to travel uh, outside to SA to go compete with the other teams. Mm. So in terms of exposure, development, that is what we're actually looking at. So there's there's a lot going on and we believe that if we keep on producing this type of local content especially for the youth mm-hmm. then it can go very very uh, f- it can go further yeah yeah now i, rem- I remember watching the, the future champions uh the hopsall team that went there went to go compete um in you know, in, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, you know they played spartak moscow they played um you know a lot of teams so taking definitely exposing the young players to to Football on a professional level yes. will have will have Dion Hotto Ryan Yambe effect. Exactly. Um, quick fire questions, Mr. Makoya. Just first thing that comes to your mind. Okay. Would you rather have the ability to fly or the ability to be invisible? Invisible. Invisible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because when you fly, you can fall from the sky. One hundred percent. Time or money? Um. Money. Money. If you could. Um, be stuck in an elevator with 20 minutes and pick the brain of anyone dead or alive, who would it be? Wow. Tough. That, that, that's a tough one. <laughs> um, dead or alive? Mm-hmm. 
Barack Obama. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, all right. All right. All right. Um, and lastly, when does the the league play on One Africa TV? Where can we catch the MTC Hopsol Youth Soccer League? Every Wednesday, mm -hmm. especially tonight, it's um, eighteen thirty, mm -hmm. and uh, repeats. There's also repeats, you know, so you can't miss it. Yeah. Um, Wednesdays eighteen thirty, Saturdays seven thirty a.m. Okay. and Sundays at uh, fourteen hundred hours. Okay. So you have three repeats in the week. Yeah. That you don't you don't have that. Um, you can't say that I missed the show. Mm. No, you don't have that excuse yeah, anymore. It's there because it's there, and it's actually there just to for you to broaden broaden your your vision or your horizon as to what is happening mm -hmm. within your child's life. Also mm -hmm. now, you know. One hundred percent, man. Thank you so much. It's 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 Strauss, but you can call him Mr. Makoya. <laughs> uh, this the you know the real the real ones know. Yeah. <laughs> um, we appreciate you for coming through, man, and we appreciate everything that you guys are doing with the Hopso League and um, yeah man we're going to catch up very 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 soon and 6.30 today 6 you can watch today. the MTC uh, Hopso Soccer League and watch some the next the next Dion Hotto the next Dion Hotto the Ryan Yambes are actually getting groomed as we speak and might I say it's the best soccer TV show on air right now on the planet Imagine. on the planet <laughs> thank you so much it's the warm up session uh, make sure you catch the football please me personally ne, as a former as a former youth player that maybe didn't have these facilities these are the things that really excite me so um, I'm going to be tuning in and I hope you do the same as well up next we're going to get into local because local is mostoch lekker Gaza with Branavain up next on your inspiration station